Hello, and welcome back to the Holistic Money Podcast. In today's episode, I wanna talk with you about what to do when money feels tight. Recently, I was coaching in one of my dear friends' masterminds, and I had someone in the group reach out when I was teaching and ask me this question. She asked me, Whitney, how do you manage it all? Money just goes in so much faster than it goes out, and I just don't know how to keep up. You may be someone who is constantly telling yourself this story, that money feels tight, I don't ever have enough that money is just constantly going out before it's actually going in and what can happen when you're consistently telling yourself that story with money is that you start to get in an emotional state with money that actually doesn't serve you in your financial journey so in today's episode i'm going to be talking through the process of regaining control of your money and how to be more conscious with the way that you are looking at what's happening in your financial life so that you're not letting an emotional story roll your experience with money because the way that you're thinking those thoughts that are going through your head they create your feelings and they create the way that you do or don't show up to your money so we want to make sure that you're conscious with the story that you're telling yourself and that it's actually something that is serving you regardless of if you're in a spending season where a lot of money is going out or not. I'm Whitney Morrison and I help individuals create financial freedom without restrictive money plans. So if you're ready to change your relationship with money so you actually build wealth, let's do this. Hit subscribe below or you can follow along via the Holistic Money Podcast, which I will also link in the description below. All right, so let's talk about what to do when money feels tight and you don't necessarily know how your money is going out or what you're necessarily spending it on, but it just feels like you don't have any control. And that's the main thing that you wanna start with when you are in this experience with your money is you really wanna ask yourself, how does it feel when I tell myself that money is tight? How does it feel when I tell myself that I can't manage it all and money is just going out so much faster faster than it's coming in. It's very important that you look at these ways that you're perceiving your financial situation because the story of money is tight, it's just going out so much faster than it's coming in. Those are all thoughts. The hard facts of your financial situation, that is actually what we want to be looking at as it relates to your money, right? So on the third, I have this bill coming out. On the fifth, I have this bill coming out. I have this payment coming due. So the first thing that you have to do when you're in this season where you're feeling constricted and restricted with your money is you have to separate your story, which creates an emotional response in your body, which can lead you to take very different actions than when you are neutrally observing your numbers and you're looking at the facts of what is happening. What we're doing in this process is we're actually teaching you how to regain control of your money. A lot of you position your stories about money as you are in a place of victimhood. You are not in control of what's happening with your money and your money is just happening to you, which in the moments when you're telling yourself these stories, they can feel very real. They can feel very true. This is not to discount that experience. We've all had that experience. But if you want to access your financial empowerment and regain your control with money, the process is to actually get clear on your facts, looking at when things are gonna be coming up to be paid, what things are due, when you're gonna be doing things in your life that you know you're gonna need money for. That's a very different conversation than just saying money feels tighter. It's going out so much faster than it's coming in. And when you start to get really clear on that, it feels very different. Your story can create fear and lack of control. The facts of your financial situation are where you want to redirect your brain because this is where you're gonna find your power with your money. The next thing that you wanna do is you actually want to observe the facts and ask yourself, do I like my reasons? for choosing to spend money in these ways because every financial purchase you make is your decision. And some of you may say, well, no, Whitney, I have kids and they have to go to summer camp. I have kids and they have to go to the doctor when they're sick. I have kids, I have to pay for their school or my tire goes flat and I have to pay to get my car repaired. I just want you to consider that you do always have a choice. You always have a choice with your money. And the moment you tell yourself the story that you don't, that you're backed into a corner, that you don't have control of your financial life and your money is when you get into thought patterns and negative emotional states with money 
and you do one of two things. You worry, worry, worry about money, or you just completely avoid, avoid, avoid money. So we have to be able to regain your control over your finances by helping you see the choice that you are making in every single purchase. And that's not always a comfortable position to be in, to really observe yourself, to really see yourself and your financial decisions and understand that you are the conductor of your life, that you get to choose what happens with your money. But I will tell you, this is one of the most empowered states that you can be with your money simply because it puts you in the driver's seat. It gives you choice. It gives you autonomy. It gives you a path forward versus feeling like you're on your heels and feeling like you're helpless. So we recognize the stories versus the facts. And then we start to look at your choice and every financial decision that you actually do have. And when you start to notice that you do have a choice, you can decide if I do or do not like my reasons for spending my money in the specific ways that I am choosing to spend my money. And you can start to decide, am I really using my money in a way that serves me? Even if I'm going through a season where I'm spending more money than I have coming in. One of my clients is getting married and she's starting to feel so constricted with money simply because she has a lot of money going out to wedding vendors and photographers and cakes and her honeymoon. And she's feeling very strapped for cash. But I had to remind her that we're gonna look at her plan. We're gonna look at everything that's coming up and we get to decide if she likes spending her money this way. Is it worth it for her to spend down her savings accounts on these specific things for her wedding? And if so, what are the reasons? So I'm helping her see that choice, right? And I'm helping her decide if she really likes her reasons and if these are the reasons that she wants to continue to use for her financial decisions moving forward if they really really serve her in the long run and this process of approaching your money more neutrally is the process that gives you so much more power and control of your numbers so i'm going to go over the steps again we would just want to recognize the story versus the facts then we want to recognize the choice in every financial purchase that you actually do have then we want to examine your reasons do you like the way that you're choosing to spend your money is it in alignment with your goals do you want to be spending your money this way. And even some of you may say something like, well, I don't want to be spending my money on getting my car repaired. That's not, you know, I had this unknown car expense that was going to happen. I didn't want to have to spend my money that way. Or I got sick and I had a hospital bill. I don't want to spend my money that way. I just want you to consider if that's actually true. Do you really want to live a life without a car where you have to Uber everywhere? Do you really want to live a life with a broken foot where you don't pay for the medical care? that your leg needs in order to properly heal. These are things that you really have to question with money, things that we don't necessarily think that we value or want to spend money on. But of course we value them. And of course we actually do want to be spending our money this way. And this is when we can actually empower ourselves with money and empower our financial decisions instead of feeling like a victim to every life circumstance that actually comes your way. So the last step is to consider if you really like your reasons, the reasons why you're choosing to spend a lot of money on your wedding or for me invest in this yurt in my backyard or for someone else to get their car fixed or pay a medical bill, right? Do you really like the reasons for spending your money this way? And if you do, then you get to decide to use those same reasons moving forward. If you don't, then you get to choose new reasons. The idea that your money just comes in or money is just leaking out of your bank accounts and you don't know where your money is going, those are all stories that are keeping you out of responsibility and empowerment with your money. Really looking at your numbers, understanding what's coming in and what's going out and why is where you will find your financial power. So I just want all of you to make sure that you are being intentional with the story that you tell yourself about your money. Is it truly that money is tight or is it that you're going through a season in your life where you want to spend more money on things that are important to you? Is it that money is going out so much faster than it's coming in? Or is it that you have more expenses that you want to be spending money on than the amount of money that you're currently producing in income and in value? And do you like that decision? And do you like your reasons for that decision? Because remember, you always have a choice with your money. And until 
until you are able to really see the choices that you have, you will continue to fall victim to the mindset that you're stuck and that this is the financial reality for you. And there's no way that this is gonna change. It's all just happening and you're just responding. Let's put you back in the driver's seat of your life because this is where you're gonna find your true financial empowerment and you're gonna make the progress that you actually wanna be making with your money. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know someone who would benefit from hearing this content, go ahead, send it over, spread the holistic money love. All right, everyone. Have a great week and I will see you in the next episode.